and uh, Bata's son issuing a comment uh, at that same time, and I can't say that I blame him. Bata, the light heavyweight champion, on the canvas. And Kelly pressing full advantage. Bata could be in a lot of trouble here. Kelly now using that foot across the throat of the light heavyweight champion. Bata coming up very, very slowly. And those tactics on the part of the challenger are taking their toll. Tried to bring him up a beautiful block by Bata. He tried to bring him up for a full body slam, but Bata blocked him very, very nicely. And again, you see what I'm talking about with Bata. He is such a strategist in the ring. He is capable of uh, thinking ahead of his opponent. Good counter moves again, caught in the midsection that time and dropped to the canvas in Bata's face. Beginning to show the tremendous strain of this challenge of this extremely powerful and very, very reckless, I might add, Bob Kelly. Kelly again drives one into the midsection. Kelly, having been warned by the referee repeatedly, could be skating on some very, very thin ice at this time. He could be uh, the referee. A careful, watchful eye. And Kelly once again Prisons the arm. Referee moving around and more encouragement coming from Bata's son. And Bata, caught in that arm stretch, is not conceding, obviously. Kelly using the knee to the side of the head of the light heavyweight champion, catching him in the base of the skull once again. And, of course, if you can manage to short-circuit that brain, it would be instant uh, unconsciousness. And again, the consternation shown on the faces of the crowd now watching. The tie is a real, real proud pleaser. A true gentleman in the first sort of sense of the word. At 42 years of age, probably the toughest title defense he's had in some time now. And this man, Bob Kelly, and Bata, has to feel a certain amount of weariness, has to feel a certain amount of fatigue, as Kelly has become relentless in his attack upon him. Again, you can see the physical struggle that is going on with the Bata right now, along with that mental anguish he must be suffering at this time. And now, Kelly again, taking every shortcut possible, again trying to impair the breathing of uh, Basile Bata. Again down on either side of the neck, back to a rear chin lock that is dangerously close to a choke hold. So Kelly, now encouragement being shouted at Basile Bata by the crowd as uh, Kelly appears to be taking more and more command of the champion at this point in time. Bata, still on that canvas, still trying to extricate himself, still trying to free himself from this man. And Kelly moving around behind him, keeping that rear chin lock. Each time Bata moves, it is Kelly countering. Good hook that time by Bata. Took Kelly off his feet, but uh, Kelly moves in very quickly in behind him once again. And so is a very brief respite indeed. Bata now trying to catch him. Notice he's using the inside of the fist. He's not using the... Uh, the, the Closed fist, the knuckles itself, the inside of the fist, which is legal. Again, a chop to the top of the head of Kelly. And Bata, now with a headbutt, to drive Kelly back into those ropes. Bata cinches down on both sides of the neck, and it is a Kelly into those ropes. And this time, Bata helps him away from the ropes. The next, the right hand to the side of the head that puts the challenger back to the canvas. Now, Basile Bata, underhook armbar. Chop to the side of the boat and once again beginning to concentrate on that uh, left arm. Kelly, good back leg grip, broke that one up. And Kelly, this match beginning to tell on him, no question about it, and now it is Bata with a rear chin line. And so Kelly finds himself uh, on the opposite end, if you will, in this particular point in time, Bata. 
Keeps cinching down with that rear chin lock, and it's going to be Kelly. He's trying to force his way out. No, sir. Batar drives the knee into the middle of the back. Now the flat of the foot. The flat of the foot into the abdomen once again to the side of the rib cage, and Kelly leaves the ring. Kelly leaves the ring, and the champion is after him. The champion moves outside the ring after him, catches him with a headbutt. Kelly back to, up toward that ring apron, and Batar the champion. And this is as close as I've seen him becoming angry. Moved outside the ring, and again, a slugfest erupting between these two Batars. Caught on the chin that time by Kelly. Now Kelly running his head into the uh, steel ring frame surrounding the uh, ring, and now it is uh, Kelly again, one to the midsection, the champion. Possibly in trouble outside the ring, and Kelly moves back into the ring, trying to hope for a count out if he can get it. Bob back to his feet. See his son moving over toward him now, but Bob. Coming back into that ring. Catches him with a headbutt coming in. Up and over that top rope. A partial uh, cross body slam that time. And Kelly on the canvas. That caught him in the rib cage. And it is Batar now going back to that claw hold. So it is Batar who has been concentrating on the arm now going back to that claw hold at a much more advantageous point now than he had earlier. Properly executed, properly applied, this can seriously uh, circumvent the breathing of the opponent. The referee checking those shoulders once again. Kelly definitely in a predicament at this time. And it is Batab keeping the pressure on him. The referee again checking those shoulders, a count of one. Another count of one. Kelly keeps rolling those shoulders off. And so Batar perhaps has not been able to uh, find exactly the right place with which to apply that claw hold, and uh, Kelly has been able to uh, thus far escape from a possible pinning combination. The bell has rung. The bell has rung, ending round two of this sixth round. Moving into round three now of the schedule to six rounds of ten minutes each for the World Light Heavyweight Championship. Azil Batar being fouled off by his son now. And uh, we're getting set to watch uh, the continuation of this World Heavyweight, the Light Heavyweight Championship match. Batar in the far corner. Young lady designating the rounds now moving outside the ring. There's the bell. And uh, Kelly, let's take a close look at that right hand of Kelly. Did I detect uh, some tape on that hand, I think that, yes, he has got it. Kelly has come out with tape on that hand and immediately fills the champion two hard rights to the side of the head. The field Batar is down, and Kelly has come out there. I, uh, he has a taped fist, and the referee again protesting this situation. And again, it is Kelly using that taped fist to the head of Basile Batar. Whether there's anything uh, in that tape or not, or whether it's just tape, I do not know. But certainly, uh, this is uh, contrary to anything that we had expected here, because uh, he came out of the, uh, started this match uh, with no tape on that right hand. And it is uh, Bata who has been beaten repeatedly on the head. And now Kelly closing in on him once again, and the referee checking. And the, the light heavyweight champion could be in a lot of trouble here. It's Kelly. There you can see it very clearly, that tape on his hand. And uh, Batar, the champion, caught again. Another bruising punch to the head. And the crowd going wild now as uh, Basile Batar could be in the most serious trouble of this match so far. And he has been lacerated. Batar severely lacerated on the head. And uh, Kelly closing in with that rear chin lock now. Batar now realizes that he has been lacerated. And it is a Kelly again, clamping down on him. Batar, in desperate straits here, there's certainly no question about it. His son looking on, very, very anxious, as is Luis uh, Cardenas, his, his manager, and Batar is down on the canvas once again. Batar, and you can see those eyes glazed as uh, Kelly closes in, and Kelly can sense a kill here. He has that killer instinct, and it is a Kelly moving against him. Another hard, jabbing right to the head of the... Uh, Azil Batar and Batar continues, that laceration getting deeper, and it is now 
Kelly pounding away at the head. And the champion in definite trouble here on those ring ropes. The light heavyweight championship of the world at stake. And the referee again warning Kelly about his tactics to the Holding on and now it is uh, Kelly ripping away at the face of Basil Batab. A desperate situation for the champion here. He's going to have to call on those 25 years of experience uh, to get away from this situation. There's no question about it. The great career of Basil Batab, that world lightweight championship on the line here. And things certainly look very, very dangerous for the champion. Tremendous concern in the, in the face of his son across the ring. And Batar caught once again in that rear chin lock. Batar, his eyes still glazed. He's taken a tremendous pounding to that. Touches him with the elbow. Caught him beautifully in the abdomen with the elbow. And Batar fires to the throat. Batar now with a headbutt to put the champion, the challenger rather, back to the canvas. And the referee still after that tape, making sure that there's nothing in there trying to rip it off his hands. And Batar wants none of this. He wants the challenger now. Batar. Enraged catches him. A hard, hard thrust to the side of the head that once again puts the challenger back to the canvas. And the champion back on his feet. And what a tremendous fighting heart this man has. A double thrust to the throat. Drops the uh, challenger to the canvas and then he goes in for that Venezuelan claw hold. Forcing that diaphragm and there's a count. Checking those shoulders once again. The referee checking very carefully. Are those shoulders down? He is, he has conceded, he has conceded, it is all over, it is all over, ladies and gentlemen, the field of the and there you see his jubilant son in the ring, he has successfully defended his title once again, and what a tremendous fighting match, and I talk about the one that's going this man has it, there's no question about it. War from the side as the car will probably moves around the ring on display once again the World Light Heavyweight Championship belt, kissing the flag from Venezuela, an outstanding victory for Turkey, an outstanding champion. Well, first of all, let me congratulate you on truly an outstanding match. I, I felt a couple of times that you were in trouble out there, but uh, was that the case or not? I told you I won the matches, and I promised all of the, my country I take the belt back. This is what I do now. Gordon, we're extremely excited. We predicted we were going to have victory tonight, and Basile did it again. What then now are your future title plans? I understand challenges are coming in from all over the world. Before everything, I take my belt to Venezuela, and I have offered for all of the world, and uh, we don't care. Any wrestler he like uh, wrestling with me for the belt, I am already. Basile has been your victory. Y tu lucha, quiero que te dirijas tú directamente a tus aficionados de Venezuela y Latinoamérica. Bueno, la verdad, yo agradezco a usted porque usted es mi manager, primero. Segundo, lo que debo, lo debo a usted por la emoción que tú me diste a mí. Eh, yo quiero agradecer a todos los venezolanos, mis paisanos están aquí. Y quiero agradecer a todos los latinos que están aquí en este estadio porque yo veo como si fuera el 90% aquí es latino vienen a apoyarme. Y lo importante es que vamos a traer de nuevo el cinturón del campeonato mundial. Gracias. Well, certainly, I think we've seen some outstanding uh, wrestling competition. <clears throat> it was interesting to see uh, George win his match in the manner in which he did. Of course, he is a karate expert as well. Obviously, without saying any, anything more, what can you say about Basil Bata? He's still world light heavyweight wrestling champion. An outstanding match. A couple of times he appeared to be slightly in trouble, but he recouped very nicely and retained his title. And we're looking forward to seeing you here on this channel again next week at this same time. Lo hizo triunfar